Okay guys, let's go through the slide, roll, and whip transitions. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the slide, the simple slide. The nice thing about DaVinci Resolve is it comes with a, a video transition called Push that essentially does that. So once you line up your clips, you're going to want to drag this over and uh, insert it in between the clips. And then once you go into the Inspector tab, sorry, the Duration, I usually set it for say eight to 10 frames. Um, and then in this case, we're pushing up. So you can obviously do any direction. And the ease, you wanna select this for in and out. That way it's uh, it starts off slow and then goes fast. And then towards the end, it also uh, eases up. And it creates this very simple slide effect. Okay, now let's go into the next transition, which will be the roll effect. So we're going to do a roll down. So I've got the two clips here. Um, just a note, I did, and this is completely optional, but I like to, with the roll effect, uh, do a small cross dissolve. So I'll drag that in here and I will set that up for two frames. That way it, it kind of blends uh, the two uh, images together. That's really optional. It's kind of up to you, but uh, it works very well for me. Uh, you may find that it gets dark at the transition if you don't have that in there or it may actually go blank so just to watch out uh, i would highly recommend that you put that in there okay outside of that all the other transitions are are built in the color tab so let's go there so it's real simple you only need you do need sapphire plugin and you only need uh, two of the plugins so the first one you're going to get is the s swish 3d and let's first go through because of the keyframes that you'll need to set. But before you set your keyframes, let's first go through and talk through the default settings you'll need to adjust. So the first default setting that you want to adjust will be the fade. It comes in at from from and to, and you want to select that or set that to only from. The next default effect you want to adjust is wrap. So you want to select reflect for all of the um, uh, four of these here and then once you have that set you will want to start recording your keyframes so it's best to set that at the beginning that way you don't have to adjust it for each of your keyframes so i recommend that you start here at the edge so we'll, we'll cursor over to the edge of the clip and the first thing we're going to want to set for the edge as we're rolling down off of the first clip is wipe amount so we'll set that to one here at the top and then we will set the shift y to negative three the nice thing about this this uh, transition switch 3d is once we set the shift we don't have to adjust that we just adjust the wipe value so we set this at minus three here at the edge of the uh, clip and we're going to cursor over four keyframes and at that point, we're going to reduce the wipe amount to 0.76. You're going to continue on eight additional keyframes. Drop that to 0 0.2. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 additional keyframes. And then you're going to set that to 0. Okay? So the entire length, this one's at the 24th keyframe. Uh, this one's at the 4th, uh, the 12th, and the 24th. Okay? So that's it for the, the rolling effect. Now, what I did add here was a little blur. Um, this is completely optional. But what I do is I use blur motion. And the default settings you're going to want to select here or adjust here is the Z distance, the 2Z distance. It comes in at a default of 0.8. And you want to set that to 1. Otherwise, you'll have a zoom type of effect uh, for the blur. So set that to 1. The next default setting you want to do is wrap X and Y. Set that to reflect. And then everything else will be adjusted um, based on the keyframe. So the first keyframe at the edge here, you want to set 2 shift Y to negative 0.1. And then out here at the 12th keyframe, back to 0. Now, one thing I did adjust here is the crop amount. So if you go back, let's go back here to the edge. 
I did have it crop in 0.15 and 0.15 for left and right. And that is so that you get this kind of rolling effect where it, it kind of squishes it in from the sides. And it, it actually looks really good, okay? So keep that in mind here at the, the edge keyframe for the blur motion. It will have a crop of 0.15. And then at the 12th keyframe, it's back to zero. Okay? So let's continue on with the second clip. And in this case... We're going to start here. It should uh, mirror exactly as it was on the uh, the first clip. So the default values are the same for uh, Swish 3D. So all you have to do here in this case is select the Shift Y to 3. And we will set the wipe amount to 1. And from there we will go out 4 keyframes. And at that point we'll set the wipe amount to 0.76. And we will leave the shift amount to 3 for, for the duration of uh, this effect. You go out an additional 8 keyframes, so to the 12th keyframe. Set the wipe amount to 0.2. And then the 24th keyframe will be 0. Mo Blur is very similar to what we had done before. Uh, in this case here at the edge, you want to set the from shift Y to 0.1. And again, the default value of 2Z distance is 0.8, so make sure to remi uh, remind yourself of the uh, default settings I, I mentioned uh, at the other clip. Those do apply here. The crop effect, we're going to do the same thing. 0.15 for both left and right. And then I, based on this clip, it actually looked better if I turned off that blur effect sooner, mainly because of the cropping that I had. And so I actually, in this this uh, in this clip, I turned it off roughly at the 20th uh, keyframe instead of at the end, which is usually the case. You can get away with doing this at the end, but in, in my case, it looked better to turn it off uh, roughly the 20th keyframe. Okay, that's it for the roll effect. So we'll go on to the next clip, which will be the whip to the right. So the whip to the right effect, in this case we're going to use the Swish 3D to uh, create that effect. So let's start here at the edge. Now in this case I again did overlap the two clips. Anytime you're using Swish 3D I do recommend on the edit tab that you overlap the two clips with uh, roughly two keyframes as you can see here. For the Swiss 3D, in this case, you're going to set the first effect here to Shift X to 3, the wipe amount to 1. Go out 8 keyframes, wipe amount to 0.184, Shift is still at 3, go out an additional 2 keyframes, two key 0.082, an additional 2 is uh, 0.02. And then the final zero for wipe effect uh, uh, two uh, below there, okay? Or two after the last keyframe. One thing to note here is you probably noticed that the shift or the whip effect was a little slower. Uh, I'm doing this on a 24 frames per minute timeline. These transitions will be much faster, 30 FPS a timeline. Okay, so let's go to Mer Mo Blur. So if I start here at the end, I select, set everything to zero. So let's go back to the edge for Mo Blur. So if we start here, you want to set, in my, in my case for the Shift X, I set it to 0.05. This is completely customizable depending on how much blur you want to get. The from shift X is zero, so it actually uh, has a blur motion effect in the same direction that we're sliding uh, the clip. Okay, so that's the way you kind of adjust that. If you wanted it to go the other way, you'd either set this to uh, negative or make this say uh, 0.05 and make this zero, one or the other. And again, our default effects are still in, a, um, in place based on us using it pr previously. Go to the edge of your transition. And in this case, we just set that parameter of the shift back to zero. Okay. 
and the crop you also want to set back to zero. Okay, so let's go to the second half of this whip effect, the second clip. All right, so we will start here at the edge with the 3D, our Swiss 3D effect. So the wipe amount here will be 1. The shift X will be minus 3. And all the other settings, as we had mentioned before, are just as we had done, as far as only from for the fade and ref reflect for the wrap. All right, we'll go out eight keyframes, and the only thing we'll change here is the wipe amount to 0.184, two additional keyframes, and that will be 0.082, two additional keyframes, 0.02, two additional ones back to zero. The blur effect, Mo Blur, if we go here, we will, um, in this case, because of the way we're shifting to the right, we say from shift X to minus 0.05, and then to shift X to zero. And again, all the other manual adjustments that I mentioned earlier with default value should be um, put in place. Uh, 16th keyframe, or at the end, that's where you just basically set that value back to zero, okay, for the shifting, shift X. That's it for the whip to the right. Now let's go on to the zoom out and whip to the left. So you, what I have done here is we're, we're using Mo curves to basically do the effect of us zooming out and then it's going to slide or shift or whip uh, to the left. Okay, so at the edge, what I've got here for Mo curves is Z distance at 1.5, shift X at minus three, and then everything else, wrap X, wrap, wrap Y, should be reflect. And then just about everything else is set to default. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we, from this point forward, we will only adjust the Z distance and the shift X. So from this point, you move out two keyframes and you adjust the shift X to minus 1.5. We'll go out four additional keyframes. And here we've adjusted the x to minus 0.03 as well as z distance to 1.35 two additional keyframes z distance 1.27 and the shift x to minus 0.02 two additional keyframes the shift x is back to zero so we're no longer um, shifting or sliding and the z distance is 1.21 go out an additional four keyframes we'll drop that to 1.09 four additional keyframes 1.03 for uh, two additional keyframes, 1.02, and then two additional keyframes to zero. So basically, this this at the beginning it allows us to zoom s slowly out, and as it's zooming, it starts to um, to slide or whip to the left, and then it accelerates the uh, whipping effect as it transitions to the next clip. Now, as far as Mo Blur, if we go to the edge here, we're going to do a very similar effect here. In this case, I added a little more blur. So I set the Shift X to minus 0.1. Everything else is pretty much default with the exception of 2Z distance. As I mentioned, you need to set that to 1 uh, versus default as well as rep, Wrap X and Wrap Y. At the 10th keyframe is where you're going to want to set that to 0 to turn it off. At least that's what I needed uh, for this effect. So let's go to the second clip. We'll start here with Mo curves uh, here at the edge. So we're going to start here with Shift X equal to three. Go out two um, two keyframes, and you'll go to uh, Shift X to 1.5. Four additional keyframes that will drop to 0.030. Two additional keyframes 0.02 and then two additional keyframes back to zero. As far as blur, now as far as Mo Blur, we will turn on the blur by uh, setting Shift X to 0.1. So that's from Shift X to 0.1. And then here at the end, we will set the Shift X back to zero to turn it off. And that's it.
If you've got any questions, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next tutorial. Peace.